I think it works. After looking at the last recording in Twitch, the settings in OBS are flipped from the, what is it called? Soundtrack by Twitch application, which has a f different thing going. So in this case, I think it works. We'll see. I show my settings so that I can potentially save all of this information for future reference. Open source. Uh, well, oh, source code projects. And this thing basically splits up the audio. It's similar to something called a virtual audio cable, which is something I could have done, but that's more of a global thing, and it's not something I need to do for other types of work at the moment. So having a plugin for OBS makes more sense to me just to do that instead of trying to use a third-party thing that could potentially mess other stuff up. But so when I'm using OBS for doing like a the D&D streams or something. It, it's just for that. And the goal was to potentially have music playing in the background. And that can't be in the recording because of copyright issues and such. So this wind capture audio, there's a YouTube video. I don't have the link to it at the moment. But if you search for that uh, project name, you could potentially find some tutorials and such how to actually use it but in this case first let me see if my audio is actually playing my uh audio is actually playing. okay uh. <laughs> sounds weird on my phone my talking anyways obs what you do is you've got assuming this works you have your you can do it other ways but you can have a scene just for audio sources and then add that scene to other scenes so that you don't have to duplicate your work. I'm not going to click on it because it's blank. I guess I can click on it. It's blank, as you can see. And it's all these audio sources. But then you add that to every other scene. So I have these different scenes. But they have that uh, nested audio source in them. So that means the audio should still work in each scene, which maybe I should test that. Test, 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 test. Yep, it seems test, to work test, just test, fine. Test, test, cool. Test, yep, it seems to work just fine. Okay. And that's the microphone. The microphone's a whole different setup. It's unrelated to all this. It's more built into OBS, your microphone auxiliary. So we've got output here. You're going to have this Twitch VOD track selected it's grayed out because it's running a stream and i currently have it set to number six so what that means is literally what it says i had it flipped switched that's going to be your vod track your recording so you're going to exclude your music from that track again for some reason twitch's uh application had it flipped unless i misread it and then also desktop audio desktop audio 2 disabled but the microphone is still normal as is set to your actual microphone and then you make all your audio sources which is kind of a hassle because if i were to play more video games you can need to by hand as, as far as i understand it with this specific plugin you're gonna have to uh, switch it every time you change a game I mean, you could have multiple. You could have like a huge list of audio sources for every flipping single game, which might be good actually, because if a game is louder than normal, you'd always have it set. So, I mean, you could do that. That's an option, but then you're going to have a huge list. Maybe you could make an additional scene just for games and then have a huge list. That's actually a good idea. So I might separate them. In that case, we've uh, I specifically uh, downloaded a browser just for the Twitch music thing, which I should pull it up, but I'm going to use Opera at the moment. <laughs> just, I mean, the browser's fine, but uh, that's the one I'm going to try to use dedicated for 
the Twitch soundtrack web version, which just makes more sense. It's easier to use. I have a little uh, list of icons here, just trying to make it easier and faster. So I've got that one. And it goes right to that specific page. And we've got this going. Let me check my, oops, audio so I can watch how loud it's going to be. So I run MoFi Beats. It's the one that I uh, had selected. So that should be playing. And it should be playing live. Yep. Cool. But what should, what should not be happening is that music should not be going into... Maybe I should lower it a little bit. The music should not be going into uh, the recording, which all related to copyright and things like that. And it's, a, it's also a, just generally a good idea to separate those types of audio sources. So, you know for whatever reason you might not want to use a specific sound song or something or the song could have some type of bad word or something in it so if you were to push it to youtube it'd be good just in general to not have that in there and you could potentially download it and re-edit it without that music in it just makes a lot of sense besides like hope if i show the game so hopefully this is uh done oh backwards okay let me put my hands up so it doesn't look like i'm doing stuff doing things and stuff and things I'll just do one track and then call it it because it's already almost nine o'clock I was thinking of potentially doing live streams, but I would probably be on YouTube of my photography stuff. So I've been looking at getting a second phone in a, on a different carrier than the one that I have. But the thing is, some of the carriers that I'm kind of thinking of to go as cheap as possible, they use the same carrier. They're just like a third party which is kind of defeating the purpose of having two different characters, like separating it. Because I'm thinking just hypothetically that if you were to get two different carriers on different uh, spectrum, you'd have a better chance of succeeding at, at uh, like not flooding. It's probably so minuscule compared to uh, the capabilities of like their data throughput. But I'm just thinking maybe if I were to use two different carriers, it would make it more consistent because I wouldn't be trying to monitor on my main phone and then stream on the secondary phone. So if I were to get two different carriers, it, I feel like it would have better potential. There's a thing that uh, higher-end systems do, is it's called uh, multiplexing. There's a different word as well, basically using multiple connections to go to one place. So if you were to do a stream, you could get multiple sources of internet and uh, channel multiplexing, and then there's also like channel something something. Can't think of it offhand, but uh, that's a thing, and it's just a lot more complex and not something I would want to deal with. To as I test it out, and usually you're gonna have to use a third party that you push your data to from the two different sources, and then that adds a third. It adds more, in my opinion. It likely adds more latency and potential issues because you're relying on the third party to mix together the two sources and push it to Twitch 
or YouTube or wherever. But it's it's a potential option to make the streams better and such. And I'm sure that a lot of the higher end streamers use that like capability. Uh, I've seen the OTK OTK ones. They have they're buying these. Whoops. Backpacks that are meant for uh, news and such. So the company that produces those, I've been trying to look like read up on them, but they they don't show a lot of information. So usually in that case, it's basically they're making it exclusive for the sake of charging more. Not not to say that the technology of this company, it's like you. I honestly can't remember their acronym at the moment, but they they do streaming gear and uh, other types of equipment, and their backpacks are very expensive. But well, it's not really a backpack; it's a device that has a battery and and a bunch of capabilities related to that. Whoops! What the heck? Anyways. You can make your own and do the multiplexing with software and other like hardware pieces. But then I'm not sure on how to get that data to Twitch without having a third party in the middle. There might be ways to do it. I'm not not sure. I have to read up on it. It's, it's not a ton of information that I've seen so far. There are definitely DIY options. It's just that uh, this uh, this production level company that produces these the streaming gear. I'm thinking that they handle their own data, so it's it's likely doing the multiplexing, but they're doing like a ton of it with various companies, and then they handle like the actual plans with the uh, service providers. So they had shown even using uh, Starlink. But obviously, if you're going to use Starlink, you're going to have to use uh, a dish. So it would be like an add-on situation. If you were doing uh, like a car stream or something, you get a Starlink dish and you put it on the flipping... Why is it jumping? Oh, that's my fault. <laughs> Put it on the car or, or like van or something. And then the device would take that input source or input output source. So uh, their tech is looks pretty cool. It's just they don't have a ton of information out there for like proprietary big business reasons you know so news news companies and, and, and sports stuff use their equipment so it makes sense that it's, it's expensive and again not to say that it's not good and they didn't put a ton of effort into it but it's basically doing the same stuff as everything every diy solution is just doing it better and more consistently and most likely they use every possible uh network provider in a given area and then they probably have a ton of agreements with network providers like at t Verizon Sprint not Sprint but uh, T-Mobile Sprint doesn't exist anymore um, and then most likely I think they mentioned even microwave transmission probably Wi-Fi agreements so if if you have enough sources you're gonna be potentially improving the quality and the consistency of your mobile thing so that's basically what i assume they're doing is they're maxing out the potential of wireless uh, data transmission so uh, i'm not sure how you know it's all closed source closed uh, information so I'm just assuming how it works, but uh, pretty cool.
Anyways, I'm going to stop this and uh, see if my pressing start. I don't think I have set on a button. Anyways, we'll see.